Leaks in your mobile home roof are not only annoying, but worse, they cause damage to your home and can lead to mold as well. I'll show you how to repair roof leaks on your mobile home with a product that's great, super easy to install, long lasting, and just does a phenomenal job of stopping leaks. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone, I'm Mike. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the Leak Stopper products. We have the Rubber Flex Waterproof Cape and the Rubber Flex Liquid Coating. These two products uh, both work to waterproof and seal up leaks in your roof. Uh, they can be used one or the other, but for your maximum protection, you can use them both together for dual layer leak stopping waterproof protection. Now I wanna thank the Gardner Gibson Company for sponsoring this video. The Rubber Flex liquid comes in three different colors, gray, white, and clear. That allows you to match the conditions that are most appropriate for your roof. Now one of the best things about this product is that it works on all roof types. It doesn't matter if you have a rubber roof, an asphalt roof, a metal roof, a membrane roof, TPO membrane. These products will stick to and adhere to any of those roof types as long as you do the proper surface preparation. The Rubber Flex waterproof tape and Rubber Flex liquid coating are a universal leak stopping waterproof repair product. Leaks on mobile home roofs have many common places where they occur. First, you have to find the leaks. Now when you're hunting down those pesky leaks, look for obvious problem areas like lifting or peeling roof materials. Points like this can be spots where you can get leaks finding their way into your roof. But don't stop there. Look around the edges of penetrations like this for any signs of cracking. Missing screws or spots where you're getting cracking around a screw that has been sealed could be a culprit. Look for places like this where there's signs of water pooling or puddling. Those are also likely spots where leaks could be occurring. You'll be certain you inspect around all penetrations through the roof, like vent stacks, anything that's sticking up above the roof. Or other signs of old repairs that might be failing, like that. Inspect carefully for anything that could be causing a hole or a leak where water can come into your roof. All these spots can be repaired by rubber flex. Ask yourself, does water puddle anywhere? Are there any other roof imperfections? These questions will help you spot and address the most common problems on a roof. So let's clean off some of this old product. One of the things I recommend is using a water-based uh, cleanser, degreaser like Simple Green. And we're gonna clean down the whole length of this edge where we need to apply the waterproof tape. Now be sure you get rid of any debris like sticks, leaves, pine needles. Also clean any dust, pollen, sap, dirt, mold, or mildew thoroughly to be sure it's fully cleaned off. That's necessary so that rubber flex will adhere properly to the surface. It's notable that the instructions say to keep these indoors at room temperature. Also make sure you apply them to surfaces at 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 99 degrees Fahrenheit on a clear day with a maximum humidity level of 70%. For dual layer waterproof protection, this Rubber Flex product line is a great solution. We're going to apply the waterproof tape first down the seam. There's no waiting or drying time other than you have to get the surface clean and let it dry from any um, simple green or water or whatever you've used to clean the surface. Once that's dry, you can apply your waterproof tape and then you can go right over it after that with the Rubber Flex liquid coating for dual layer uh, waterproof protection because really there's nothing worse than having to go back and repeat a repair that you've already done once. Let's start with our waterproof tape here. Now this product has incredible adhesion and will stick to most any surface. So that makes it it an ideal product for repairing a mobile home roof like this, where sometimes there's multiple surfaces, uh, maybe there's been past repairs as well that you need to go over. Um, this will stick to it all. We're going to unroll this tape out, leave the plastic release liner on, get it in position, be sure it's the right length, things like that. And then we'll start removing the plastic release liner. And as we remove that, we're going to stick the first few inches down, get it held in place, and then continue down the length of the seam. And I'm using this uh, rubber roller to help secure down the tape 
along the way. Now we're ready to put on the Rubber Flex liquid rubber coating. And we're gonna be using the gray color because that most uh, closely matches our roof. It also comes in white and clear. As long as your surface is clean and completely dry, you've gotten rid of any debris, uh, it's going to adhere just wonderfully. This stuff will stick to most any surface. All right, now I'm gonna be using this little roller to apply. Now this liquid rubber coating says it'll cover about 65 square feet from one of these cans. This is a quart sized can. So that should be more than enough for these seams and repairs that we're making today. Cover past the edges of the waterproof tape and apply a generous coat. Usually you should only need one coat of the liquid rubber coating. You can apply a second coat if you'd like. Line it up where you want it to stick and then just set it down kind of loosely. This really goes on quite easily once you get it lined up. It's nice just how much it will adhere to any type of material. You can see this is going on to some wood and then as we wrap it down we're going over roofing material. So that's one of the great features about this Rubber Flex waterproof tape is that it can stick to most anything. Once this is pressed down firmly we'll be ready to apply the liquid coating. We're just rolling it on, coating our waterproof tape. We want to put it over the edge or the seam. And that's giving us that double layer protection. Let's look at how the Rubber Flex waterproof tape gets applied over a nail hole or a screw hole. Right, so we're going over those screw holes, coming out past the edges of our waterproof tape. Now I've cut alternating relief lines along the length of the tape. That should help us wrap this vent a little bit better. Now we're gonna apply some pressure all around, trying to stick this into every crack and crevice on the surface that we cleaned previously. Around these vents, I'm gonna use this three inch brush to help apply it. One of the things I'm gonna do is take my tape measure and see where my 10 foot roll is going to come to. All right, while you're working at the edge of the roof, you wanna make sure you're being absolutely safe. So I'm not gonna be trying to lean over the edge of the roof. I'm obviously on the ladder and uh, we'll move the ladder to where I need it. I'm gonna peel off my first few inches of release liner. I'm gonna get this lined up so I've got some on top of the roof and some hanging over the edge. You can see up here on the edge where it wrapped over we put the waterproof tape and the rubber flex liquid coating. Now we're gonna give this a few hours. It'll be dry and completely waterproof. Now make sure you don't apply this product uh, before it's, just before it's going to rain. You wanna make sure you've got several hours afterward so that it can fully dry. To give you an idea of the amount of coverage, we did three entire crosses of the roof. One, two, and then at the far edge, three, along one side of the air conditioning unit, these vents, and a couple of screw holes. That used the full quart can of the Rubber Flex liquid. Here's the completed repair after the product has dried. The leaks are gone. This Rubber Flex product will last for many years. Rubber Flex liquid coating can be used on its own, but for even stronger leak stopping, it can be used as a two-part system with the Rubber Flex waterproof tape for a dual layer of waterproof protection. Thank you so much for watching Tomahawk DIY. And I'd like to thank the Gardner Gibson Company for sponsoring this video. Please like the video, leave some comments, ask some questions, share what worked for you. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and have a great day.